Hello, I'm Adam Barraway, and although I'm best known for my work with crystals, I often joke that yes, I'm married to crystals, but I'm having a passionate love affair on the side with essential oils. In fact, they work really harmoniously together. A lot of the time I get asked which essential oil brand do I like to use or which one would I recommend. And so this video is a special one explaining why I choose a certain brand. And that brand is doTERRA Essential Oils, now the largest essential oil company in the world. Here I want to explain 10 different reasons why I love doTERRA Essential Oils. And I'm just going to give the general reasons and I'm going to leave some links down below in the comment section where you can follow up and read a bit more about everything that I'm saying. So let's explore my favourite 10 reasons on why I choose to use doTERRA Essential Oils. doTERRA produces a pure therapeutic grade essential oil which guarantees what is in that bottle is 100% from that plant. Now this in some ways is actually better than organic because what it proves or what it shows is organic means that a plant is grown without herbicides, pesticides or any other chemicals but still an organic oil does not guarantee that what they put in that actual bottle is 100% from that plant. For example, you know, some you can go and buy uh, some essential oils from the chemist or something like that and it'll say on the back of a lemon oil, warning, keep out of reach of children if, if ingested, seek medical advice, warning, warning, warning. Now, I'm sure you've had a bit of experience with lemon, apart from getting lemon juice in the eye, I haven't found lemons to be that dangerous, but what they're warning you against is possibly the other fillers and chemicals that are in there. Lavender, for example, is the most popular and most widely used essential oil in the world when it comes to aromatherapy, and thus is always in demand. Sometimes companies can't get their, they don't have enough plants to keep up with that demand, and so they end up putting other things in there. Maybe other plants like lavender, or maybe artificial fillers. And so just because the plant was grown organically, it doesn't mean that it's pure. So pure therapeutic grade is a term that doTERRA has given their oils themselves and the reason they do this is because there is a lack of regulation across the world about the quality of essential oils so they've had to create their own. They then explain exactly on their website and release that information of what this means being a pure therapeutic grade and this, they do 15 different tests to make sure that every batch is exactly what it claims to be. They test to make sure there's no herbicides, pesticides, no heavy metals and all different things to make sure that we are getting the best quality oils that are available in the world. You may have looked at the pricing of doTERRA essential oils and go, wow, that's quite expensive compared to other ones. But you need to understand that not all essential oils are created the same. A Toyota is not the same as a Ferrari. So when you're looking at different oils, the one that you buy for $2 at a chemist is very different from something you might buy from a boutique uh, essential oil company compared to doTERRA, which is now the largest essential oil company in the world. What happens is these oils, are, they, they have so much money to invest in making sure that they get the best quality oils and the best testing that's done, that you are buying the Ferrari of essential oils. What that means is these are really concentrated. Some of these oils are 50 to 70% stronger than the herbs that they come from or the plants that they come from. For example, the peppermint essential oil, one drop has the same amount of nutrients as 28 cups of peppermint tea. And so what happens is you use a lot less. In one bottle there are 250 drops in a 15 ml bottle and that will last you for ages. You know, my, my partner's mother, we got them her, some essential oils from doTERRA to use. She was using them in her diffuser and other ways and really enjoying them. And then she ran out and she didn't want to bug us and she didn't tell us she'd run out and we would have got her some more, but she went down to the chemist and bought some. And one thing she observed is in her diffuser each night she liked to put lavender or vetiver or cedarwood to help her sleep and relax and she instead of putting two or three drops in, she's now putting 12 or even more to get the same effect and the same smell in that way. So you've got to remember that yes, they're more expensive, but they're a concentrate and you, they're gonna last you for a lot longer. The plants that offer us the essential oils for doTERRA oils are grown in 40 different countries around the world. And there was one very particular reason why this is done. What they've found is if you get the same species of lavender and you plant some in maybe Tasmania in Australia, somewhere in a good environment in the USA and also in the high hills of France and Bulgaria, that the chemical constituents of the oil that comes out of that is far superior when it's grown where it's naturally from. So the oil that comes from France and Bulgaria is far superior to where you'll find it around anywhere else in the world. Because of this, it's superior therapeutically and the chemical con constituents are great, having a better therapeutic grade and for our physical well-being. But also from a spiritual perspective, getting an oil from a plant where nature intended it to be in its natural environment, we feel more comfortable 
comfortable when we're in our home environment and so does the plant as well. So I feel that the oil that comes from that plant as well is of a much more higher spiritual integrity as well. In the majority of countries where the plants are grown for doTERRA essential oils, these countries are developing countries. Now doTERRA does not own land in these countries, but in fact works with local farmers and the people of the land on, of that country to form cooperatives. doTERRA will help to build distilleries and the technology they need in order to get the best essential oils sourced from that country. They will pay the people a fair price for their oils and they support the communities in that different way as well. And so what happens by doing this, instead of employing people and trying to pay them a, you know, a small amount of wage, they're empowered to work their own land, to take ownership of the land and form these cooperatives which have so many great cooperatives, uh, so many great benefits. Um, I'll pop some information in the comment section below about the cooperative work and you'll really see how the people there are benefiting from the support of doTERRA in so many different ways. Not only does doTERRA support the farmers of these different countries and empower them to own their land and to produce these pristine essential oils, but they also do amazing charity work. They are some of the biggest contributors to lots of different places around the world. You know, they brought water to places in Haiti where our vetiver comes from because they didn't have access to clean water and had to walk for over three hours a day just to get it. When we had the earthquakes in Nepal, lots of schools fell down and doTERRA is responsible for building some of those schools back and whereas many of the other schools have yet to be rebuilt several years after those big earthquakes. They also support charities that I feel are really amazing charities. One of these is called Days for Girls. And Days for Girls is a charity that works around the world in where there are different countries where the girls have a misunderstanding or there is myth around what happens with a girl having her monthly menstrual cycle. Sometimes they're told they're dirty, sometimes they're told that they cannot go to the river to clean, uh, they, all these different things. Sometimes when they're having their monthly bleed, they have to sit on their bed they or they locked in a room and sit on cardboard or these ghastly types of things and they miss out on school. Sometimes girls will insert things like pebbles or corn cobs to stop the blood flow so they don't miss out on school because they don't have access to these sanitary products. Days for Girls helps to give these girls sanitary products that they can reuse at work in their communities and does amazing work. And doTERRA is one of the biggest contributors to that. In fact, members of my own doTERRA team are actually helping to make these sanitary packs to send to these different countries around the world. Another one that Ashton Kulcher spoke about recently, which is sex trafficking, which is happening all around the world. And there is um, a charity called Operation Underground Railroad, which I'll put some information about down below. doTERRA gives large financial assistance and even produce a special oil to help Operation Underground Railroad to help sex trafficking in the USA and all around the world. So what I love about doTERRA is how much they are giving back to the charity in that time and, and giving that charitable work is so amazing and that's just another reason I love it. As I mentioned before, doTERRA works with farmers and people in local lands to empower them to own their own land and to you know, the help with microloans and all these different things so that people are empowered rather than being employed by a big corporation and they do all this charity work. And so me, as a consumer of doTERRA essential oils, that makes me feel good about the essential oils that I'm actually using. I love to use different products, but it's not just me benefiting, people are benefiting all around the world. You know, for example, I love my iPhone, but I've heard nasty stories about things happening in China, about people People working long hours in really bad conditions and suffering from all types of problems because they work um, for Apple in these small little companies and and that there's a bit of guilt that comes with that but I know each time that I pick up a doTERRA essential oil or product and use it that I'm not just supporting my own health and those that I love's health and well-being I'm also supporting people around the world and local communities that I wouldn't have the ability to support in any other way Okay, this is a big one and sometimes a sticking point for different people. The doTERRA Essential Oils is a network marketing company. Now, if you think about what a network company actually is, any large company will have a marketing budget. And what they'll do, that sometimes that's about 35% of their budget, and they'll spend that to make sure that you know about their product. You know, if you think about Coca-Cola or McDonald's or any big company, they'll have billboards, they'll have TV commercials and different things like that. Now, as we see in the modern world, authenticity and believability is a really key thing. And we start to see that we don't always believe what we see in TV commercials. There's lots of different campaigns where they show, you know, this is the model photoshopped and this is what she really looks and that we don't believe that. 
What we tend to trust is people that we know. And what doTERRA uses and what network marketing companies use is they actually just use word of mouth. People that use the products love the products telling their friends. And so what that ha what happens is instead of um, having that much having that money and put, spending it on billboards or adverts, they're just taking that money and giving it back to the advocates and the wellness people that really enjoy the essential oils and, and, and say thank you for sharing the oils that we love with everyone else and here's a small reward or, or, or a financial reward um, for doing that. And I don't think there's anything quite wrong with that because every company needs to get its, to survive, needs to get its name out there and it's just using a different technique, one that I think you're going to see more and more in the future in fact. By doTERRA financially remunerating their wellness advocates who share their essential oils with their friends, family and other loved ones, what happens is it's a really nice setup where it's taking money out of corporations. You know, most big corporations or even small ones, there's you know the owner who makes the profits, hopefully if your company's going well, and everyone else gets paid $20 an hour or $30 an hour, whatever your wage is. This setup with network marketing actually allows the people that are doing the work to receive the large financial income. The great thing about network marketing is you're not, you don't have a set wage. You can earn as, mu as little as much as you want based on how effective you are at your role. You can work as many hours as you want and you have this type of flexibility. So in this world where corporations are getting more and more powerful and more um, you know, richer and more influential and we even see corporations affecting governments and different things like this, a company that chooses to bring its money back and give it back to the people and empower the people I think is a really great thing and I think in a world where we have so much corruption of big corporations influencing things they maybe shouldn't be, this is a really good step forward. The key aspect of any company is its owners or its founders and with doTERRA it was founded by seven beautiful people. Now I've been to other companies, conventions and things, especially when they're network marketing companies, and they'll say things like, you know, you can have a fast car and you can have a mansion and a boat and a yacht and all these different things. And if you come to a doTERRA event, you'll actually realise that it's very, very different. The founders are all very religious, and their religion is very different to my own. But what I love about them is they come from a point of service. In all their different, um, in everything they do, it's about how can we help these people in these developing companies? countries? How can we help people to find better health and be empowered to look after their own health? How can we help people to get themselves out of debt? It's all really much out of service. I've had the pleasure of meeting some of the founders just very briefly and I was overwhelmed by how loving and giving and generous they are of their time. Emily Wright is a female founder and we I was at their big international uh, convention ball and we, me and my partner saw her over there and we did a little fangirl moment and we're like, oh, let's get a photo with her, that would be really nice. And you know, she was there with her assistant, a few people, other people getting photos, and I saw her assistant turn to her and go, we need to be backstage right now. And Emily turned and went to go and she kind of caught our face and we must have had a sad face on. She's like, hold on, stop. Come over here guys, let's get a photo. She took a photo, uh, her assistant took the photo for us, she then looked at it and said, hold on, your face is in the shade. What we need is another photo. And we came back and, you know, had another photo. Now, I am one of 4.7 million people using doTERRA essential oils. To Emily Wright, I am absolutely probably no one. But she had that time, although she was meant to be backstage because she's meant to be on stage in a moment, she realized that that was important to us and stopped and took that photo and made sure it was a good photo as well. And that was just one example of, you know, how, how caring these people are. Their goal is to get oils in every house in the entire world because they know that it's going to benefit for people in so many different ways. And when you have founders like that, running the company like that, that trickles down and creates a very different culture to what you may see in other companies. And that's just another reason why I love doTERRA. Of course, I wouldn't be using doTERRA essential oils if I hadn't have had beautiful experiences with the essential oils and products myself. And the key one that was for me is if you had have met me three or four years ago, you would have realized I was covered in eczema. I'd have it behind my legs, up and down my arms. I used to get bright red on uh, above my eyes and you know, little kids would go, mom, why is that boy wearing red eyeshadow? It was really quite embarrassing. You know, it, I would be constantly itching all the time. My friends would tell me to stop itching. When I lived in Toronto, the air was so cold and dry in winter, I'd wake up scratching so irritated in the middle of the night and it'd actually be blood on my sheets. 
From using doTERRA essential oils, I've actually noticed that my eczema has actually gone away. It is no longer a problem and I no longer have that itchiness. I've also experienced uh, more success and no longer have issues with hay fever and seasonal things like that. I have more energy, more vitality, and overall I just feel better. The great thing about the essential oils is I'm empowered to actually look after my own health and do different things and I'm actually enjoying the benefits. Plus, I've noticed essential oils tend to smell pretty nice and that is one of the other things that really drew me to them. In smelling different essential oils, I've found that the doTERRA ones really resonate. I enjoy the smell, they smell fresh, they feel lively and on a spiritual uh, level, I actually feel that their vibration is really quite deep and um, it has the oils have integrity in so many different ways and I think that's a, a flow through of all the different points I've been talking about in this video. So my point of this video is not to try and convince you to switch from a different essential oil company to doTERRA. Um, in fact, anyone who's using essential oils, I really, I, I'm grateful that you are because the more that we use these gifts from Mother Nature for our healing, whether that be our physical, mental, emotional or spiritual uh, healing, then that is a great thing to do. My point of this video is that I really wanted to share why I love doTERRA essential oils and answer some of the questions that people have asked of me. And of course, I would love if you would like to work with me with the doTERRA essential oils, I'd like you to come join my circle and work with me in sharing these gifts with Mother Nature. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope I've been able to shed some insight. Uh, these have just been some brief snippets and I will put some more information in the information section below. Love to hear your comments. Keep on using these gifts from Mother Nature wherever they may come from. I'm Adam Barillet. Blessed be.